All right, in this chat application project, we're going to be using Socket.io, which is an incredible technology for any type of real-time application, such as a uh, chat application. So in the short lecture, we're going to talk about what Socket.io is, and it's actually not too difficult to understand. All right, so Socket.io or Socket.io is a library for building real-time web applications, and it enables real-time bi-directional communication between the client and the server. Now typically when you have an application or a website things are done in requests and the client makes some kind of request to a server and this can be done when your your browser loads a page uh, or if you're using Ajax where you can make a request behind the scenes but typically you make a request you get a response okay well with Socket.io it essentially allows you to have an open door connection so things can go in and out between the server and the client. Uh, this is done using abstract transports including Ajax long polling and web sockets etc. Um, stuff that's, that's really tough to understand but Socket.io just takes all that and wraps it up nicely into one single JavaScript library for us to use. Alright so uh, there's two parts. There's the client side library which runs in the browser and connects to the server. Uh, we just include the library in our scripts. And then we have the, uh, the Node.js server to add the event listeners for the client to interact with. All right, so if we take a look at this example here, this is actually from the uh, socket.io documentation. We have the server on this side. This is just our app.js file in Node.js where um, basically initializing express and recalling create server and then we're bringing in Socket.io and then down here you can see our, our route to the home page is just going to load the index HTML file which is the client and then we have the IO variable here which is our Socket.io library and we're calling dot on and we're saying on connection run this this callback and we're going to include this socket variable and then we can basically take that we can emit certain events for instance we have news uh, typically you'd have something like send message or add user something like that and you can send data along in JSON format alright and then we have this socket dot on my other event which we can call from the client and then pass data along that way okay so if we look at the client we're just including the script tag here with socket IO we're connecting uh, IO dot connect our local host and then we're calling socket dot on news Okay, which you can see matches this here where we're emitting the news and we're passing along the data or we're getting the data which is in this case this hello world and then we're going to console log in on the client okay then we can emit my other event and pass along some data and we're passing it to this my other event and then we can console log that data so we have a two-way connection between the server and the client all right and that's the magic of socket io all right, so let's go ahead and jump in and start to create our chat application using socket.io. All 